This is Guy and Roseanne, and welcome to the last of our four-part series on the Embassy RV Meetup. One of the great things about there being so many vans participating in this year's open house is that we got to see a lot of great mods that people made to their vans to personalize them. It was hard to pick just one favorite, but we did. It's Manny and Ann's modification to the bed extension system on the Dolphin S. Hope you enjoy it as much as we did. All right, we're, we're here with Manny. Say hi, Manny. Hi, <laughs> um, Manny and Ann Turner. And uh, Manny and Ann have a Dolphin S, that's right, Manny, on a Ford Transit. Is this a 2022? 2022. 2022. Picked up November, December uh -huh. 2022. And um, those of you familiar with uh, the Dolphin S know that that there's a bed extender for the uh, passenger side bed that works uh, as a result of a, a nested box on the driver's side. And it works perfectly well, but frankly, sometimes it's a little bit of a pain in the neck. And uh, I'm visiting Manny because uh, Manny has, uh, has uh, designed and installed his own modification to, to deal with extending the passenger side bed without needing that nested box. And so M Manny, why don't you just walk us through what you did? So. I bought this stainless steel metal brackets. This is 12 inch. This is uh, the normal length. Uh -huh. And I added this two by four. Uh -huh. The reason for that, you need to have it, the age of the bed should have, should be, should be the same yep. as the, what do you call this? Let's say a filler or uh -huh. something. So when you install the brackets, it's aligned with the age. And so when it's aligned, you can align it with the bed frame. Uh -huh. And and, uh, and this is uh, this is this is wood that you've used here. It's used. Yeah, it's yeah. a bird's plywood. Uh -huh. So we won't tell Terry, of course, that no. you used wood. But um, um, so the brackets, uh, uh, the uh, the horizontal portion there is 12 inches. This is 12 inches. 12 right. inches, and and then. Uh, uh, the the other part is yeah. it looks maybe it's eight or ten inches eight or so, or um, and those are just um, off the shelf somewhere. Uh, from Amazon, uh, on Amazon uh, on Amazon. Yes, uh, you don't happen to remember the brand off name? Off hand, or, I don't know, um, but they have they have a yeah. lot of them. Yeah, of them. and if you search uh, like shelf brackets, shelf or brackets, fold up right. shelf brackets, right? Uh huh. Uh, and then and then you've just um, you uh, is that secured? Uh, it's bolted. Bol bolted. bolted how, how about to the, the top table? How is it secured? It's also, it's also uh, screwed or bolted. Uh -huh. and I meant to put a, but it the screw is sufficient strength because I, you don't sit down in here. Right. The main thing is you have to bolt it through the HDMP though. Right. And when you do use the bolt, you have to use the the nut with nylon. Okay. Why is that? So when you're traveling and the nut is moving, nuts with nylon do not rattle nah. and they do not come up loose. So that's one thing you have to make sure of. And when you drill through, you have to make sure you don't drill through the frame or you can drill through, through, right. drill through the frame. Or you... into any of the wiring. Or right. There, right, any of the wiring. Right. And so, um, so it's on there, doesn't rattle, looks quite secure. Uh huh. Um, that's the challenge there, to uh -huh. make sure you don't drill into any right. electrical. And so, um, uh, show us one more time how it flips down. So, this is how it flips down. And and it doesn't look like it has made the walkway any narrower than it than it ordinarily is. It fits no, in, in this is the edge of the up. bed, and it makes up. Uh -huh. The key is to make sure when you flip it out and fold it, it doesn't hit the floor. Uh -huh. Do you remember the dimensions of the of the tabletop there? This tabletop? Yep. I have a tape measure with me. It's about... It's, it stops at 16. 16 inches. Okay. And... The length is about... 21 and a half. Alright. And... So... That has something to do with the bolster. Uh, and so now, in, in addition to that being a really easy way to extend the bed, it, it also allows you to do some cool stuff w with uh, the area where the nested box used to be, right? Right. Uh, so why don't you show us what you were able to okay. do there? 
And that, my suggestion I have, if they will, if they will buy the brackets, hmm? there are brackets that you, there's only one control. So uh -huh. this is two controls. Oh. So if you can buy a bracket with one control, you just hold it. A little easier to release. Easier. Yeah. Well, I didn't get to see that. So. So what happened here? When you remove this bolster, uh, I can show that it fits here. This is how it goes at night. Uh huh. It's the same. Same weed. Same as before with the with the box. With the box. And here's what I'm saying. If there's a one control, it's easy. But yep. with, with two controls, you kind of have to uh -huh. maneuver a little bit. So this is what I did now. This is permanently extended. Uh -huh. And I added a metal frame. So when you sit down here, when it's extended, you don't you don't fall down. I see. So this is a angle bracket. Uh -huh. Stainless steel and I painted it. Yeah. And then with this, the, I came out with the seal rock now. <laughs> I know there's a heater behind uh -huh. Uh -huh. and I have to be careful during the winter months. If I have time, I could have removed this box, cut the length or the height by three quarter of an inch, it will lower down. It will be the same height as the bed, but it's so hard to unscrew it. Right. <laughs> and this could be a, a dog food compartment when we're traveling. The mm -hmm. dog food compartment's there. And this is the first level of the sewer rack. Mm -hmm. And here's the second level of the sewer rack. Well, Manny, that's great stuff. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wager that it's going to be much copied uh, by our, our fellow owners who are going to love this mod. Uh, I, was, uh, I was like... So good. The lagoon table mount that was that came up with the yes. table. You put it somewhere else. I put it on the side. Ah. And then now I have the permanent I can do this. Yep. And like at night we use this table to put our 110 volts. Uh-huh. Uh electric fan. It really works. It works for us. Alright. As far as I know, I guess this is one of the you know mods I like. Yeah. Yeah, I hope it helps a lot of people. I, I hope so too. I think it will. Thanks yeah. very much for showing it to us. Thank you. Thank you, guy. You've been doing a great job with your videos. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed our report from the fourth annual Embassy RV Meetup. Hopefully, we'll be seeing a lot of you down the road. If you enjoyed this video and our series, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel so you can see all our past and future videos. Until then, take care. We hope you found this helpful, and we'll see you next time here on Amore Van.